Now, KSBW Weather with meteorologist Ferdinand Holum. Hi, everybody. Welcome back and a good Saturday evening to you. Wanted to show you this. This is our Skycam 8 Soledad shot, and you can see the fire there. Did a little bit of a time lapse. Watch how, how this blows up really fast here. Watch the smoke and the, the wind down the valley. That's a northwest wind. Uh, the good news, it's a sea breeze. So when we get to sunset, we'll actually see those winds die off. But look at this. So the wind's going down the valley that way. See the arrows. But then as the smoke billows up, and it goes up this way. So pretty cool. You can see the, 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 uh, the uh, what would you call them, the, the sea breeze just blowing down the valley, stoking up that fire. And then up top, we get those winds uh, blowing the smoke the other way. Way. As far as the day went today, temperature-wise, mainly upper 60s there, Boulder Creek 66. The overnight lows were rather chilly too, Scotts Valley 40 degrees, Boulder Creek 44, 46 in Watsonville overnight last night, and then on the Monterey Peninsula. Again, more 40s as well. Highs today about average right around the low to mid 60s there, and then as we make our way into the Salinas Valley, 67 for Salinas, all the way down to King City, 71. Rather chilly again in the overnight hours, 44 for King City last night and then in the Santa Clara Valley. Upper 60s for our highs and low 70s down toward Hollister. And outside right now, Sky Cam 8, Monterey, temperature 61 degrees, mostly clear skies out there. We still have that strong sea breeze west uh, about 12 miles per hour. Mainly temperatures uh, right now in the 50s and the 60s, actually more 60s than 50s. 67 in Santa Cruz, 65 for San Jose. You get down to Salinas, 62 in Hollister right now, 64, a little warmer toward Bradley, 77 degrees. So the setup is this. We got this uh, trough of low pressure situated way off here. This guy here that actually brought us the rain yesterday morning. Uh, now that is pushing off to the east, but we've got this big trough. You can see that carved out by the jet stream. We've got one more little trough that'll slide down that jet stream and bring some rain chances to our area uh, tomorrow and into Tuesday, but it'll be north of the Golden Gate and into Northern California. So south of the Golden Gate, we will stay dry. We'll probably just get some clouds out of it. And then as that trough exits the region by midweek, high pressure takes over and then we warm it up as we look toward the holiday weekend. So our temperature trend goes like this. So this is our coast, pretty much about average. These are the highest temperatures, low to mid 60s, about average for this time of year. We get a little bump up after that trough exits and high pressure builds in toward next weekend, but looking very comfortable near the coast. And then in the inland temperature trend, a little bit more uh, warming here and steady warming as we go. So low 70s, which is about a uh, good 10 degrees below average for this time of year, but we do ramp it up closer to average by our holiday weekend. As far as our temperatures, if you're heading up to the city tomorrow afternoon, temperatures not too bad. Mainly 60s out there, kind of a carbon copy of what we saw today. Temperature wise about the same, cloud cover about the same too. Mountain View 68 and then Fremont 67. Maybe a few more clouds tomorrow than there are today. San Jose 68 down to Gilroy 70 and 67 for Hollister. Overnight lows not quite as chilly as they were last night, mainly 40s and 50s. 68 for Gonzales down toward King City, 72, 66 in Salinas. And on the Monterey Peninsula, we'll go with the partly cloudy skies tomorrow as well. Mid-60s for our highs, lows mainly in the low 50s. And then up in the Santa Cruz area, middle 60s. And overnight lows in the 40s and the 50s. So here is the KSBW 8-day forecast. Pretty steady as we go here. More clouds for the first half of the forecast period. And then later on, we see more warming as we look toward the holiday weekend. Next weekend looks nice for your outdoor activities. And inland, you see the bit warmer temperatures again. Uh, more clouds in the mix through Wednesday. And then by Thursday, we get those clouds out of here.